Hey everybody, you know what the fuck is going on? We out here. This is the Masters Wax Row, chilling, hanging out. So today we're gonna be talking about life in general with this whole COVID thing and um, getting back to normalcy and just you know uh, how you know. I hope everyone in the cannabis world is doing well. I hope that you're all you know finding your alternatives and finding out how to like if you haven't learned how to extract oil by now during this quarantine you really have to get into it so you don't have to like sit there and wait for other people to give you shit you can just make it yourself anyways guys what would a master of would be if i didn't give you guys a bong rip and right now i'm smoking on some grease monkey which is a cross between like og and cookies or something it's so good man so good i really like it cheers guys and i like to break okay all right i'll, I'll tell you after I just go straight with the ball rip. That ring. So, back in the day, right, when I used to take my ball around to go smoke with people, <coughs> this is a few years ago. So I would have a whole bunch of attachments, right? And my ball, it kind of like an accordion. It had like, all these things, all these ash catchers that eventually, when the weed traveled through all the chambers, it came up here and it was like a little cleaner, right? It tasted really good. And um, I would always show people it and then they would never like fully inhale the smoke all the way through. So I would always have like alcohol wipes. And I, and I realized that I was developing a system before there was even a system to clean smoking, you know? Because everyone is always out here sharing everything, you know? Licking blunts and sharing them and shit. That's not happening anymore. We're not licking blunts and sharing them anymore. If you're gonna roll a blunt, you're gonna roll it and you're gonna smoke it to yourself because that's all your spit, bro. You don't wanna lick a blunt and then give it to, to somebody else. You might as well just spit in their mouth. You might as well just spit in their lungs, actually. Not their mouth. You're gonna, you're gonna fucking open wide and hot glue in their esophagus. Skip all this shit. Just go straight to the lungs, you know? O perform open <laughs> open body surgery and just spit in the lungs because that's what you're doing, you know? Instead of smoking a blunt. To pay more more money and get rid of them more so sophisticated <coughs> and what i've noticed is that oh so apparently thc and cbd and turpins have something to do with your lungs and preventing covid from like latching on to certain things which is kind of cool because it, it shows like the the diversity of the plant like w there is no even till this day till this fucking day there's no like official testing for cannabis like there's no cannabis test center anywhere I, I actually i want to make something like that i would love to make a cannabis testing center with a fucking machine that just runs your shit spins it burns it whatever the fuck it does to it and tell people like yo this is your strain boom pay fucking 30 dollars to find out or 20 bucks to find out the strain of your weed foolproof you 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 you'd get mad different samples of weeds and like just like Write it, label it, $20, $20, $10, $20, $10, $20, 5,000 people will come through, bang, it's over. That's a brilliant idea. I, I want anyone who just saw that to just like jot that down. Anyways, guys, so right now we're smoking some Grease Monkey. Super duper fire. Super fire, bud, bro. I'm telling you. Like, I really like this. Like, it's chill. It's OG. I, I have this thing with OG, right? With OG flower. It's like a... It's like a relationship thing. Like I love to smoke OG flower for some reason because it just knocks me out, you know? It puts me where I want to be at. It gets me to the high that I want to be at. gets me to the cerebral, to the physical high that I, that I want to be at. You know, there's not a lot of weeds that do that. OG Kush has like certain turpins. I think it's the pinene, the limonene. It's the pine, the lemon, and like the mycerin that all do something weird to you. You know, makes you feel super trippy. But um, yeah, I have this thing behind my phone where I, oh, I know the weed. It fell in the ashtray. Exactly what I didn't want to happen, bro. Fuck. <laughs> my nug fell in the ashes. Anyways, guys. So, what I'm talking about right now is that you know the this whole thing with like cross contamination. You know, we have to be very, very, very conscious about it. Um, 
you know i hope everyone just stays safe like you know if you're a pothead and you smoke a little bit of weed and you cough and a person tries to judge you they can't they can't really judge you you know just scream out i'm smoking weed you know because it's just crazy with, with the whole climate of, of, of this world like everyone's coughing and s sneezing and acting sick because you're being told that you're sick like if i'm told if you're gonna be told that you're an ostrich you're gonna act like a fucking ostrich like who's to tell you what you are and aren't and like if you're sick or not like what so now that so now you don't even have a fucking you don't even have a choice to get better they're just telling you you're never gonna get better like that's what i'm taking from it when you tell me one thing my mind says what you're trying to say you know you're telling me something because the reason for telling somebody something like more money equals easy life so that means i gotta get money by any means necessary to get to that life right that's what you just you told me this one thing but i saw a whole bunch of other things so when people tell me things i take it with a grain of salt but i take it with a grain of salt like like bro you like all right so 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 the government tells you all this stuff right you take it with a grain of salt and then you take it literally it's not a grain of salt anymore it's like a pound of salt so like are you gonna take it for what it is like like i don't know if is it a definitive thing you know do does like are you like are, are people at risk of, of this all the time of like dying or like have we had it and like gotten past it i don't know about you but i remember getting sick in november and they're telling me if you got sick last year then you then then you you you've been a carrier so i'm like what am i a carrier like am i am i admitting that i that, that i caught covid and i got past it and they're telling me that covid is like a a disease with shit like come on bro so you're telling me that animals started eating each other's shit in some place and then somebody ate that thing and then started started coughing the shit out like is that what you're telling me like the combination it was just like a perfect C c c concoction at the perfect moment and then let's not talk about the flu the flu's not even being spoken about man i don't even know i don't even know what that's about but yeah man this is masters wax world we out here you know trying to stay positive in this crazy ass world because you know everyone is everyone is trying to lie to you bro like i'm not trying to lie to you bro i'm trying to tell you what what's going on in my life i have nothing to hide you know like i've been through some shit Bro, I've been through, through, through the worst. <laughs> so, like, nothing can really... Yo, I'm telling you nothing. Yo, it, it's sad to say that going through the worst things in your life make you the better person. Make you a better person. Like, going through the worst times in your life bring out the best in you. Like, it, it, it really helps you. Like, it humbles you down. Like, it really... Like, when you look at yourself and you're like, okay, what do I have? Like... There was a time that I, that I would look down at myself and I'd be like, what do I have? And I, it's like, I have nothing, you know? Now it's like, I feel like I have something. I feel like I have so, something to say. I feel like people will listen to me. I feel like people will look at my work and, and not me, you know? L look at my work. Look at what I do. Don't look at me, you know? I'm just a vessel. What I do is what my actions are, my, my actions. I'm just here talking about myself, showing you that you know, I was brought into a world where, like, bro, it's, it's crazy. Before you start, before you get caught selling weed, any on any level, minor or big, right? Um, before that time, bro, you're 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 innocent as fuck. I feel like you're even if you even if you're a player with girls and shit, if it's if it's you if it's you being a player on your own okay but if it's if it's your player with, with the drugs because of the drugs that's not cool so like you know i feel like i was like the man before i even sold anything you know once people started to like want to smoke like me or smoke my i don't know once people got me into getting used to giving them weed bro it was like that kind of messed my mind up with the whole thing like you know the whole being people's friends but then you realize those people aren't your friends regardless but are they your friends because now you just took money from them like what is it like i, I don't know I, I don't know what it is but it's like a weird thing it's like weed does make people go crazy unless it's like your your own and you're not really sharing it or you're just sharing it and that's it, it there there is no sale you know you can't buy this like you, let's just smoke it together and be be high together and, and that's it
Like, we don't have to share this high with anybody else because once you share the high with everybody else, it kind of takes it away. So I kind of understand where that brought me to mentally. It, it really brought me down, you know, getting in trouble, getting robbed, getting robbed twice, you know, getting robbed three times, four times. I don't even know how many times I got robbed, bro. And it's like, I'd rather stay away from that type of life and do what I know, you know? I, I, I cook and I fuck with, with weed and that's all I know, you know? Like I mess with small amounts of weed and I like to do little personal batches of like oils for myself. You know, like I don't like to, I don't like to share as much as I did, you know? I like to share conversation more than weed, you know, more than physical weed. Like you can smoke your own weed, you can smoke together. You know, but that's about it. Like when it comes to, and, and then like, it's hard to stay positive in a world like that. It's hard to stay positive when you have to always watch your back. It's not cool. It's not cool to be thrown into a life like that. Cause I was kind of young, getting into it. If I was this age, obviously getting into this type of, getting into selling weed, it'd be, it'd be, it'd be a different story. Cause I would have known. I, actually, you you never know at any age. Anybody can get you at any moment. So, you know what? F fuck what I said. You know what I mean? Like, th th this world is what it is. Yeah, man. It's a massive ass world. Got these dabs. Should I dab? I should dab because it is a massive ass world. Alright, so I'm gonna dab for you guys. I'm gonna take this bomb rip and dab. Should I do a strikeout? Damn, should I do a fucking strikeout for the for the squad? Strikeout squad? Are you even are you even down with the strikeout squad? Do you even know what a strikeout is? A strikeout is when you take a, a what is it? A, uh, it's a dab, a bong rip, a shot in a beer. That's a strikeout, I think. It's, no, no, yeah, it's dab. Bomb, shot, beer. Yup. Dab, bong, shot, beer. Dab, bong, shot, beer. Dab, bong, shot, beer. Dab, bong, shot, beer. DBSB. DBSB. Are you, are you DBSB? I'm DBSB. We out here. <clears throat> you know what the fuck is going on. Massive Vax Road. Yeah. yeah man life is life is something else I just hope that everyone stay, stay staying safe um you know know the people around you um get into something that you love doing oh I'm actually cooking for somebody that's on TV uh next week so that's gonna be very cool I'm, and, and I'm gonna make a video of me in the kitchen a little montage for you guys, we out here. Whew. That is definitely a uh Yeah, man, I am baked. So, the point of the story is that you have to, you know, be yourself at all times. And always, you know, like, you, we, we waste a lot of time wasting time. I noticed that we waste a lot of time when we were younger just wasting time and you know if you really question yourself at every moment bro you'd be better off but question who you are question what you can do always push yourself and do something different you know it's kind of hard at a time like this too <coughs> so just be creative you know go online and talk about it and do videos like this that's it that's what i learned 
I'm supposed to be. <coughs> you know, I'm, I made, I'm, I make these videos just for, for myself, you know. And I'm just glad that everybody watches. Or that some people watch, you know. I have 100 people, you know. We got 100 people on this page, bro. We out here. We're like 100 people strong. We're fucking, we're like a little army. If we all put up five bucks, we'll have $500. You know what I mean? That we could fuck with and be, become the LLC. Marriage is wax roll. Let me out here, everybody. Get out there. Smoke your CBDs and your THCs and your terps. Remember, terps help against the vid, supposedly. You know? Supposedly, like something that, like inhibits a, a, a certain protein in your body from being made and blase blase. We out here, man. I got this new, this new, uh, this new nail from, um, it's a little dirty because I left it a little dark. And I came with the heat. But yeah, it's um, it's from Yo Dabba. Yo Dabba. So yeah, I've dabbed with people who like use those inserts, right? They like put the little the little insert inside and then they throw the dab in the insert and then you hit it off of the insert. I, I understand that concept, but there's nothing like a regular dab. There's nothing like it. You can't substitute a big bong. I mean, a, a big nice bong rip from a really good weed is like a dab, but you can't substitute like any other oil derivative. Like you can't turn this... <clears throat> Maybe turpins by itself, but you need the THC and the turps to give you a proper dab. It has to be like a semi full spectrum, you know. It can't just be THC, it can't just be turpins. It can't because I've taken crystal dabs and it's like not the same as you know taking a dab with some shaddy that you can just see the spectrum of color, you know. The color is what makes it what it is you know like it's crazy the weed is green but then when i extract it it comes out like this you you understand and obviously you can get it whiter and clearer <clears throat> new nail stays hotter Super low tempo. Ooh. I can finish it off a little bit. of the grease monkey on top of the grease monkey in the bowl knockout flavor that shit tastes crazy so yeah man I hope everybody's out there staying positive protest and protest in your own way you know use your money and your time for good whether you're working for the man when you make money, hey, you know, even in the in in, in chop and in, in the autonomous zone, they have um, 
they have their own. <coughs> they don't have their own currency, but <coughs> they have their own selling, and they use American money. So it's like, what's? <coughs> it's crazy. It's some crazy shit. Dope, man. We out here. I'm at his back stroke. Hope everyone stays positive. Hope everyone stays lit and lifted. Eat your fruit. Make fruit drinks. Eat.